Hey there, it's Professor S, and for the next wait, five... Wait, wait, wait. Are you sure you want to wear that outfit? But look, I know it's a green screen behind me, but I thought this was the beach-themed video, and so I dressed appropriately. There's no beach in this video. It's a bowl of water. This is one of the diffusion videos. Oh, that's right. Okay, well, I guess I don't need that. I don't need that. You're not going to take your shirt off, are you? No, I'm not going to take my shirt off, am I? Isn't that kind of video? Hey, it's Professor S, and for the next five minutes or less, I want to talk to you about diffusion. But I specifically want to do this by actually watching it happen with an example. So if you look to my left, you're going to see a bowl of water. That's a quarter cup of water in a fairly small kitchen bowl. And in just a moment, we're going to start this thing up, you're going to see a pair of large fingers move in and put a single drop of blue, blue food coloring into one side of the bowl. Now, once that blue food coloring is in place, we're going to freeze it just for a moment. And once it's frozen, you can clearly see that blue food coloring is concentrated at that single point where the drop landed. And the rest of the bowl, uh, there's a low concentration of blue food coloring because there's like none. Uh, so we're going to let this play now. The actual video is uh, an hour and 40 minutes in length which isn't going to fit into a five minute or less presentation unless we speed it up. So in just a moment, we're going to start this video running at 50 times the actual speed at which it was recorded. But the key to keep your eye on here is that diffusion, which is what you're going to be observing, is the net spreading of particles in a mixture or solution from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration until uniformly distributed. So now we're about 15 minutes in, you can see that uh, it's really starting to spread from high to low concentration. And, uh, but it hasn't completely filled the bowl by any stretch. And if you watch closely as the food coloring spreads from the high concentration point of origin to the lower concentration points, parts of the bowl, uh, until uniformly distributed, uh, you're going to notice that it's not just linear movement. Uh, there's actually back and forth. You should be able at times to see streams of food coloring particles moving both toward and away from the main mass because it's net movement, not purely directional movement. It's a product of random motion and particles that is diffusion. Uh, we're now fairly far into this video, so I'm going to take a moment while we let it play and get a hmm, cup of tea before I remind you again that diffusion is the net spreading of particles from areas of high to low concentration until uniformly distributed. That uniform distribution piece of this is a, a thing that students often overlook. The uniform distribution is the end product of diffusion that's unconstrained. It's actually a feature of the definition. And you'll notice we're not quite to uniform distribution yet, uh, but we're definitely getting the blue spread out more and more and, and filling the bowl more uniformly. Uh, and so now that we're solidly an hour uh, into the actual hour and 40 minute video, you can see we're approaching something more uniform in distribution. And uh, we're still seeing the net spread from high to low concentration. Now, I keep mentioning this definition because diffusion is such a key centerpiece to so much that goes on within cells. It is the net spreading of particles from high to low concentration until uniformly distributed. And it drives most of the movement in and around cells and through membranes of cells. So it's a really fundamentally important definition for you to understand. Now, we're coming up on the end and you can see we're really achieving much more uniform distribution of the blue particles than we had when all of this began. And that's the idea. The particles started at a single point spread from that high concentration point towards the areas of low concentration and achieved a more uniform distribution of particles. That is diffusion. The net spreading of particles from areas of high to low concentration until uniformly distributed. And I'll talk about issues of speed and concentration gradient in some other videos.
I'm ready. Let's go ahead and do another take. What are you wearing? Is that a GoPro? Yeah, it's a GoPro. What's your issue? Why are you wearing a GoPro? Well, come on. I, I thought it would be good for market research to, you know, know what the people who are watching these videos are doing while they're watching. And so I just figured if I'm shooting the video and wearing the GoPro, we'll be able to see what they're doing. That's not how the technology works, you idiot. You sure? Yes. Just do the take. Hey, this is Professor S. If you enjoyed that video, found it helpful, here's a couple others that you may also enjoy. And don't forget to hit the button to subscribe. And I guess we'll never know what you're thinking since he says the GoPro won't work that way. Oh, you got cut.